Can you take seats over here, please? <coughs> the patients are ready for you now, Doctor. All right. Show the first one in. George? Thank you, miss. Hello, I took. Ah, George, back so soon. Well, uh, I'm getting to like it here, Jock. You don't mind, do you? No, no, that's what the mission is for. <laughs> now, George, you go straight down to the bus. You took your X-ray and your blood group last month. Oh, well, Jock, uh, I, I thought you might prescribe, uh, you know, uh, a touch of the heart stuff, Doc. You get your ration, like everybody else, after the bath. Hmm? Oh, whatever you say, Doc. No I'm trying, is it? Next, please. You should be in next. Oh, no. Oh, no. I, I want no physical briefs. Here. You wouldn't have another bottle, would you? I've, I've got a... Uh, a bit of a thirst. No, no, I've got no more. You got the last. Uh, hey, uh, what? What's, uh, what's in there, though? Oh, it's, it's a governor's place. It's oh. private. Oh, yes, well, uh, he'd have some in there all right. Oh, yes, what? he'd been the governor. He'd have some in there all right. Well, I, I told you, look, it, it's private. Yeah. You... Uh, that's an idea. George Hopton, where is he? Isn't he in the bathroom? No. McCready, one of the champions.
When Sharon McCready, Craig Sterling, and Richard Barrett crashed in the snows of Tibet and encountered the lost people, they could not even have imagined the powers that they would be given. Sharon and Richard, the three champions of law, order, and justice, able to use their gifts to their best advantage as operators of the international agency of Nemesis. Now, all the faces you're about to see are internationally wanted men. Emil Boder, special prisoner number 127, that is, until the 12th of last month, when he garroted a guard and escaped. The third major war criminal to disappear this year. Yes, and with nothing to go on except an unconfirmed report that Bowder arrived in London last week. London? Yes, and my guess is he'll be in good company. Manuela Corista. Ex-dictator of the Fuerten Republic. Baloney. Indicted in New York for various and sundry subversive activities. Mm -hmm. And for the South Asian Federation? Ramad Sukanji. That's it. Good girl. Well, as I said before, they're all wanted men. And like Boder, all reported in or headed for London. At which point they seem to disappear into thin air. International escape route? That's it. Well, we've been handed the case, the complete file. Boder is wanted badly, and information about what's happened to the others. And for good measure, you'd like the escape route destroyed. That's it. You get the picture. Now. What's this? Your passports. You two are going to London via New York. Anne Collins? Bruno Canelli. New York Hood. Anne Collins, his um, girlfriend. Richard? Well, you'll have to use your own name. You'll act as a contact. Now, we've had every cooperation from the United States authorities, including the FBI. In fact, your cover is perfect. Uh, perhaps I should add, it will need to be. According to this, he's grabbed himself two million dollars of the syndicate's money as a going away present. Two million? Well, that certainly qualifies him. And he's due in London, I see. Yeah, the Supreme Court worshipping him back to Italy, but he's applied for residency here. Residency doesn't stand a chance. Well, he must know that. So why is he wasting time in applying for it? Well, maybe he hopes for a break. Oh, sounds too much of a realist for that. No, I think he's heard of us. From Bologna, you mean? Possibly. They are in the same line of business. The service like ours must have made the big boys grapevine by now. Do it on Tuesday. Check it out, Mortman. Check it out right down the line. If it holds up, I think you should be at the airport to meet Mr. Bruno Canelli. What have you got to say about your deportation from the States, Mr. Canelli? What do you mean, what have I got to say? Hip, hip, hooray. How long do you intend staying in Britain? Forever, the way you guys are crowding me. Where's the dame? The Home Office have refused you a residency permit. Have you heard about that yet? They very nearly didn't let you land. I'm here, ain't I? You can't go back to Italy. Who says I can? Nobody tells Canelli what to do. Nobody. Hey, Lupo, what are you doing taking photographs of the doll? I'm the one who got deported. Come on, get off there. Talk is, the mobs are after you. If you do go to Italy, they'll get you for sure. Is that right that you walked off with two million dollars of the syndicate's money, Canelli? What do you mean, the syndicate's money? Then you got it. I ain't answering nothing. NC, no comment, baby. Go on, beat it, Buster. Let's move. Go 
Gut, Emil, gut. Yes, there is a lot I can do with that face. That's what I wanted to hear, Herr Doctor. But this is the last free operation I am doing. Your other clients pay well, don't they? They pay, yes. So you can afford to take an old friend for free, Herr Doctor. And we need you. Don't ever forget it. They'll push me too far one of these days, Sophia. Push me too far. And all you can do is take it. They know too much about you, Sven. Has Maltman contacted Canelli yet? Any time now. Get yourself a pack of smokes. Go run me a bath, will you, sweetie? Thanks, pal. This is all right. <laughs> yeah, like I said to you, baby, when you got money, when you got bread in the pocket, there ain't nothing that you can't buy. You can buy everything, including a country. Do you mind turning it off? Oh, sure. Couldn't you find a better place to hide? Oh, I could have jumped out of the window. Oh, it's raining out there, too. Since your cover seems to be quite successful, I hear the reception at the airport. What's with the moustache? Oh, do you like it? I think it's going a bit far. You don't look so smart. Take a look at her. Hello. I'd uh, like to speak to Mr. Connelly. You're talking to Mr. Connelly. You wouldn't know me, Mr. Connelly, but I think we have a mutual friend, Mr. Valone. You're talking, boy. I'm listening. Excellent. Excellent. Well, that's all, Mr. Connelly. Subject to the results of the tests, I think I can build you a new face. Okay, so when do we get started? Very soon. There are a few formalities first. The loot, huh? It's a commercial world we live in. And you want the cash before the job? My clients are always so vain. Even the ugly ones. They always doubt my competence. I have had a lot of practice. A lot of practice, huh? Oh, yeah. I knew I'd seen that face before. Peterson, yeah? Peterson, no. Drochman, ain't it? But, uh, that's only to your friends. At Dachau concentration camp. What's the matter, Doc? Couldn't you find nobody to do a job on your face? It's true, Mr. Canelli. I was at Dachau, and you would be wise to forget it. It doesn't change anything, you know. It has nothing to do with why you are here. If anything, you are benefiting. You look concerned, Miss Collins. Naturally. But Sophia here, she's beautiful enough, isn't she? And young. And I created her, Miss Collins. Yeah, so the turned-up nose looks all right on the doll. But how am I going to look with a face like that, huh? What I want to know is, when am I going to see some of the men you've been working on? Only photographs, Mr. Kennelly. Only photographs. Now, you take them into the drawing room while I examine Miss Collins. Then we can discuss the financial arrangement. Yeah. 
Stay loose, kid, huh? Look after the face, Doc. It's too good a job to botch. Now, Miss Collins, if you please. Only the face, Miss Collins. Thank you. Yes. It does seem a shame, doesn't it? You must be Connelly, the man with two million dollars. You got the advantage over me. And let's keep it that way. You like the pictures? Yeah, all except that one. What happened to him? He forgot to keep up the payments. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, I think you'd better take a look at Canelli's blood group. It's fantastic. A rhesus group, but amazing. I've never come across anything even like it. Which means we can't help him. <sighs> and he knows about you. That's true. Well, in that case, I think it might be safer for all of us if, during the operations, Mr. Canelli and Miss Collins passed on peacefully. Yes, you're right. The girl's blood group is the same as Canelli's. What does it mean, Sven? Don't know. I don't understand it at all. This was going to be our last case. Canelli's money would have solved everything. We will only get the money, Sophia, if we give him the new identity he needs. No, I'm afraid we have lost the money. He's hardly likely to carry those dollars around with him. What about Boulder? Yes, Boulder is a complication. It was my escape, and I have already... If we can't help our latest patients, and with their blood group we can't, then there is nothing we can do but ensure our own safety. The sooner we get this over with, the better. Get Maltman.
Craig? Sharon, can you hear me? Richard, where are you? I'm in a tree opposite. Hey, Richard, be careful the park keeper doesn't catch you. Listen, you've got trouble. Something to do with our peculiar blood group. Whatever it is, Peterson's on his way up there to spill some of it for you. Oh, that's nice. Well, we'll be waiting for him with a story and an answer, I hope. We must need a supply of our blood for the operation. Anything else? Yes, Boda must be in there somewhere. Well, if he is, I haven't found him. He must be one of the guys with the bandages on. Steady, kid. The execution squad's on the way. Hey, ain't you got no manners? Don't you knock? I'm glad you dropped in, Doc. I meant to tell you something before, when you took our blood tests. Oh? Yeah, a couple of months ago, me and the doll, we pick up some kind of corpus or bug. They give us some kind of, uh, drug treat, and they told us to stick around for a while. I figured maybe it'd show up on the blood test, huh? It did. The treatment is unknown to me, Mr. Kennelly. But unless I can match that blood, your blood, exactly, the operation is out of the question. Are you thinking of rubbing us out, Doc? <laughs> yes, to be frank. If I don't keep my promise to make you a new face, then I let you go. Sooner or later, you'll talk, Canelli. Me? I'm going to talk. You're a riot, Doc. You are really a riot. You scare me, you scare me like I don't believe it. You find gallons of this stuff if you look. I do a lot of tests, Mr. Canelli. I haven't found any so far. That's because you ain't been looking hard enough, Doc. It's used in hundreds of cases. You've been out of the general practice too long. Sure, you want to? You get Buster over there. He'll put a couple of bullets in our back. But I'm prepared to give you half a million for your services. Half a million? Dollars? Yeah, dollars, Doc. Bucks, green stuff. Stuff that makes the world go round. I still got a lot left without you, Doc. I got nothing. If I could find a supply. Take you a couple of days, Doc. Just a couple of days, Doc. And that's all the time I can give you, Mr. Kennelly. Even for half a million dollars. If at the end of two days we haven't found a solution to your problem... Then your hatchet man, Mr. Buster, he comes back and deals with the loose ends, right? Okay, Doc, you got a deal. And you know, I ain't even taking a chance. I wish I shared your confidence in the final outcome, Mr. Kennelly. You were really rather good. Richard, did you hear all that? Most of it, yes. Then isn't it about time you climbed down from that tree and reported to the blood bank? Yes, OK. I'll try to be back within 48 hours. Don't let Boder out of your sight. Yes, it's there, all right. Nobody found it. <coughs> ah, yes. Ah, that's better, much better. thinking that but for an accident of birth I could have been king of England. 
Oh, you could. Oh, indeed you could. You could. King of England. Of England? Oh, well, of course, there's no accounting for taste. That's what I say. This uh, accident of birth. Here, would you like a drink? Uh, thank you, yes. Yes, I would. Thank you. <clears throat> Very welcome. Yeah. You're a decent, educated man. Oh, yes. Oh, that's me, all right. Educated. That's it. That's me. Oh, oh, oh. People go too much by appearances these days. Oh, yes. I've noticed that myself. I've noticed that. Only last week, I lo lost a very good job through me appearance. Yes, that's what it was. A good job? Oh, a very good job. Sales manager. Five thousand pounds a year. Very good job. Only five thousand? You get expenses, of course. Oh, yes. Expenses. I get expenses. But you need them. Especially in a job like that, sales manager. But your appearance was against it. Oh, yes, that's what it was, the appearance. I know that. It was my appearance, that's right. Oh, all gone. But I know a place where we can get some more. I guess Richard didn't make it, huh? That time is up as of now. I'm sure he did what he could. Yeah, I guess it was... Um tough for him to get a lead on a place like this, especially without arousing any suspicions. What happens, Craig? When they come, I mean. I don't know. They're probably going to take us for a ride. Right. Now, first, you will register. And Dr. Peterson will be giving you all a medical. Those of you who have been here before know that you can stay for up to three days and that you are free to leave at any time. Understood? Richard's here. I know he is. Maybe you're right, but he's left it too late. They're on their way up. Mr. Connelly, Miss Collins, I'm sorry, but I have to keep my promise. What have you got planned? If you please. Don't forget the wrap. I thought you drank it all. Emergency supply. That's what it is. Get them out the back way. Move. I'm sorry to keep you waiting, gentlemen. Well, now, who's first? Let's go. I hope you're right, Craig, about coming back here. Well, if Richard is made out, Peterson's going to use him as a guinea pig, that's for sure. For half a million dollars, he can't afford to do much else, huh? But haven't we got enough for Tremaine as it is? I don't know, have we? Sure, we get the organization, but what about Boder and Carista and Valoni and the rest of the guys who've passed through? Come on. You've got to have a reason for coming back that Peterson's going to believe. Spread some stuff around. Make it look as if we've been searching. <laughs> Sophia. Yes? Canelli and the girl. This one has the right blood group. They got away, Doctor. But I think they're still in the grounds. Right. Leave it to me. It's locked. So? Before you do any more damage, Mr. Kennelly.
You gave Maltzman a rough time. He'll be okay in a couple of hours. But I should work you over, Doc. I should work you over real good for all the trouble you caused me. Why did you come back? I would have thought a man in your situation would have run. Because I need something, Doc. I need a little bit of uh, documentary evidence. I take it, I stick it in a safety deposit box, then you got to do the face job, huh? Yes, that's true. I can't quarrel with that. But now it is different. The situation has changed. Oh, yeah? My surgical techniques require a supply of what might uh, indelicately be called spare parts oh. of the right blood group. Yeah, I already figured that out. That's why you run this flop house, huh? Mission, Mr. Kennelly. Mission. Yeah. Sure, it's a great system. Who's going to check on a bunch of down and outs? You got somebody? Yes. Yes, I have. Come, I will show you. Come. Up. Oh, don't worry. They can't see us. From their side, it is a mirror. Which one is our flunky? Over there, pouring the tea. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's being most obliging. Your cases will be put in hand immediately. And as for you, my friend, enjoy your tea. It's your last. When do these come off? Soon, very soon now. And these? The same. A new face, new fingerprints. It should be a good job, Boulder. <laughs> One that I will be proud of. What are you up to, Peterson? You're planning something. I don't like it. I'm planning my next case. I start on the girl any time now. There's something I don't know, not right about those two. A weird blood group turning up like that. It feels wrong. Canelli is paying a half a million dollars. There will be other patients. Oh, you mean escaped old friends? Arriving in London with a prison suit and ten marks in their pocket. You owe it to us. I owe you and your kind nothing, Boulder. Nothing? I've been in prison for 20 years while you've enjoyed the pleasures of a free man. Remember what we swore? Loyalty to the Third Reich and to each other. <laughs> 25 years ago. 25 fat years for you, but not for us. We need you, Deutschmann. Peterson! I told you, you're the last. I'm getting out. And I'm taking Canelli's half million fee with me. You will leave a lot of disappointed people behind, Peterson. You'll never get clear. We won't let you. The authorities have never stopped looking for you, even after 20 years. It only needs one word in the right place. You can't change your own face. What are you going to do about Bodo, Sven? He means what he says. I know he does. Don't worry, Sophia. It's all taken care of. Well, are we ready? Yes. Good. Tell the girl it's time. Well, did you find Richard? No, but I couldn't look everywhere. There are too many people around. Did you try calling for him? Sure, but he couldn't have heard me. I suppose they're keeping him somewhere secluded. Uh, I'll try again later. I hope you can afford to wait that long. The nurse? Yeah. No doubt coming to ask me to get ready. I guess so. With the operation starting and Peterson tied up, we'll have time to find Richard. It's time we need Craig. 
The pre-medication will take at least 20 minutes. You hope? I'll risk it. And you can find Richard and come back. And what if I don't? And we hope Peterson's as good as he claims to be. If you don't recognize me next time we meet, I'll whistle Yankee Doodle Dandy. Tastefully decorated, isn't it? Oh, yes, oh, yes, it's very comfortable. Oh, yes, to have us locked in here, all right. We'll never get out of here, I can tell you that. Craig? Can you hear me? Craig? Friend, friend of yours, is he? Craig. Uh, yes, yes. In here. Uh, no, no, he's, um, here. Well, I didn't think he'd be in here, but of course you never can be too sure. Ah, <laughs> yes, ah, uh, that's a good friend of mine. That's a good friend of mine, all right. We'll be all right. We've enough to live on. Dose. I thought she was never going under. Very glad to put me in here with you. We should team up. That's a fact. We should team up. But what I can't understand is, what am I doing here? Oh, perhaps they thought that if I disappeared, you might go to the police. Me? To the police? Oh, no. Oh, no. Not to the police. Oh, no, 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 no. Craig? Hey, hey. Your, uh, your friend, uh, is he a heavy drinker? Yes, yes. I oh, would well, no, he won't be coming. Start preparing, uh, what's his name, Barrett? Tell Maltman to get him up here. Richard? I'm right below you by the sound of it. 
Well, that's nice. I was getting a little worried about you. Yes, so was I. I'm in some sort of a cellar. Oh, so your, your friends arrived. Ah, well, the more the merrier. The more the merrier. That's what I say. The walls are reinforced and the door looks pretty solid. What's the ceiling like? Uh, that's, uh, that's plastered. Oh, well, I'm not plastered. Oh, no. Oh, you can't pin that on me. Oh, no. Plaster, huh? Keep an eye on the door. I got an idea. Where is Maltzman with Barrett? Peterson! I want these bandages off! Later! Now! My hands, look! They are perfect! I am the doctor. I will say when the dressings come off. And I am the patient! You're planning something, Peterson. And I want to know what it is. But first, take these bandages off. If you won't, I will kill you. All right. Sit down, Emil. Sophia, if you please. I don't know whether it's just me, but uh, I think you should know. There's a hand coming through the ceiling. What is this? Why are you staring like that? Give me a mirror. You heard what the gentleman said, Sophia. You fool, Peterson! You stupid, crazy fool! Back away, trouble. Where's Sharon? She's in the surgery. my vocation.
so you wanted to disappear. And he would have succeeded. The trouble is, the only face he couldn't alter was his own. Brilliant fellow, Peterson. Or should I say, Deutman. Yes, he rebuilt Boda's face in his own image. Therefore, Boda had to die in his place. Well, luckily for us, he left a very complete record. Manuela Carista, Valone, Sukanchi, and all the rest of them. We'll get them all. It's just a matter of time. Yes, in fact, just as soon as we've made Interpol a present of this file. I was forgetting we have a present for you. For me? Yeah, distilled by a little Irish friend of ours. It's uh, nine parts alcohol. To soothe away those waiting hours. <laughs> I am touched. Thank you very much. Look, won't you join me? No, it's all for you. Uh, we've got a plane to catch. <laughs> yes. You can drink it neat. Hmm. 